Ave Regina, Mater Misericordiae, Vita Ducedo, Es Es Nostra Save, A Te Clamamus, Es Ules Fili, Gementes et plentes in aclarimarum vale. Ea ego, advocata nostra, illos tuos misericordes oculos, annos In the waters of baptism, Paul died in Christ and rose with him to new life. May you now share with him eternal glory.
O oh God, whose nature is always to forgive and to show mercy, we humbly implore you for your servant Paul, whom you have called to journey to you. And since we hoped and believed in you, grant that he may be led to our true homeland to delight in its everlasting joys. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Oh. 
bài trích thư thứ hai của Thánh Paulo Tông Đồ rồi tiếng hữu Corinto. Anh chị em thân mến, chúng ta biết rằng nếu nhà tạp của chúng ta dưới đất đổ nát thì chúng ta lại có nhà đời đời trên trời bởi Đức Chúa Trời không phải bới tay người làm ra. Vậy, chúng ta hãy đồng lòng tin cậy và biết rằng khi chúng ta đang ở trong thân thể này thì cách xa Chúa vì chúng ta bước đi bởi đức tin. Chớ chẳng phải bởi mắt thấy. Vậy tôi nói chúng ta đầy lòng tin cậy muốn lìa bỏ thân thể này đặt ở cùng Chúa thì hơn. Cho nên chúng ta giàu ở trong thân thể này giàu ra khỏi cũng làm hết sức để được làm được lòng Chúa bởi vì chúng ta thầy đều phải ứng hậu trước tòa án đấng Christ hầu cho mỗi người nhận lại phúc tùy theo điều thiện hay điều ác mình đã làm lúc còn trong xác thịt đó là lời chưa sống mình thì sẽ mất còn ai coi thường mạng sống mình ở đời này thì dễ, thì sẽ giữ lại được cho sự sống đời đời ai phục vụ thầy thì hãy theo thầy và thầy ở đâu kẻ phục vụ thầy cũng sẽ ở đó ai phục vụ thầy cha của thầy sẽ quý trọng người ấy bây giờ tâm hồn thầy sao xuyến thầy biết nói gì đây Lạy cha xin cứu con khỏi giờ này Nhưng chính vì giờ này mà con đã đến Lạy cha xin tôn vinh cha Bây giờ có tiếng từ trời vọng xuống 
ta đã tôn vinh danh ta ta sẽ còn tôn vinh nữa The Gospel of the Lord Praise you Lord Jesus Christ For those of you who do not know me, my name is Father Mel Trinidad. I'm the provincial of the Salesians of Don Bosco, Western United States. In today's first reading from the book of Ecclesiastes that was proclaimed for us, there is a time for everything. And I'm sure Father Paul, who is watching over us today, is probably enjoying this funeral service with us. Knowing him in his positive attitude about everything is probably enjoying the fact that it's raining today. <laughs> That's the way he is. He was. Sorry. What I heard uh, since I was traveling in Texas and in making a visitation of one of our parishes in Laredo, Texas, for the last few days. When I heard that at yesterday's funeral at Don Bosco Techno Institute, there were about 1,200 plus people at Don Bosco Tech. And someone even said, the bishop actually said that there were 70 priests and uh, who can celebrate it, and there were three bishops, I believe. <coughs> Well, I was telling the bishop that uh, knowing Father Paul, he was probably competing with Bishop David O'Connell, <laughs> where there were close to 40 bishops and cardinals, and as one of the Salesians, I don't know why, told me there were 356 priests come celebrating at the funeral services, and with the capacity of our Lady of the Angels Cathedral, for those of you who are from the Los Angeles area, of about 3,500 people, there were another 2,000 outside. So, just do the math. And uh, Father Paul, come close to it. Come to it. <laughs> I also do know that in the last so many days since his passing, there have been videos posted, there have been written reflections shared on social media and on other platforms praising and honoring Father Paul and his life. For myself, Father Paul and I met in 1977 when he first responded to the call to be a Salesian. And so he was there as a pre-novice at that time, we used to call it Son of Mary. And I was in my last year at Don Bosco College in Newton, New Jersey. Over the years, Father Paul and I saw each other, especially those times when he would come to California to attend the annual retreat here in the West, even though he belonged to, to the East. And some of us would be joking with him and said, since your family is all in California, why don't you just move here? And he would always say, perhaps later, perhaps later. Well, that later came in 2014, when Father Tim Bois was here, then provincial, invited him to go to St. Joseph's Center in Rosemead. And he has been there ever since. As has been already shared on social media and other platforms, Father Paul had a lot of passion. He was full of energy and 
had so much joy and optimism that people loved him. I think the people here, and especially the people in the last few days, attest to that. I would like to read from the Salesian Constitutions, number 14, because I truly believe that it embodies who Father Paul was for so many years, and where his passion and energy and love of life has been coming from. Salesian Constitutions, number 14. Our Salesian vocation is graced by a special gift of God, predilection for the young. And then I quote Don Bosco, that you are young is enough to make me love you very much. This love is an expression of pastoral charity and gives meaning to our whole life as allegiance. For their welfare, for the young people's welfare, we give generously of our time, talents, and help. And then I quote again Don Bosco, for you, young people, I study. For you, I work. For you, I live. For you, I am ready even to give my life. This is who pa Father Paul Chung Wei was. <coughs> Today's Gospel also reminds us that Jesus was telling his disciples and all those around him that he would do anything for the mission, for the mission the Father has sent him. Father Paul also believe in the mission to the young. And he would do anything, as I quoted Don Bosco in the Constitution number 14, he would do anything for the young. Yes, he was full of energy, full of life and joy and optimism, but that was coming from within the depth of his soul because of his love for God, his love for Don Bosco, and his love for the young. Many of you have known him over so many years. And many of you probably present here and yesterday knew that when he came to the young people, Father Paul would do just about anything. He had no problem asking for donations because of the young. As a matter of fact, someone was reminding me, reminding me that in, 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 in the circles of the Salesians who were his contemporaries in both provinces, east and west, it was known as the Vietnamese Mafia. <laughs> <laughs> because he had no problem asking for help, especially for the young people. I also remember during the pandemic, nothing was going to stop him. Because he said, St. Joseph needs to continue. So at some point, he actually showed me pictures, he would text me pictures of funeral services happening outside at St. Joseph Center sometimes two or even three going on at the same time. Because he knew they will give donations or stipends for having the funeral outside. <laughs> Once again, for the young people that he was serving. We were all served. Many of us knew even though he wouldn't say much about it, that he had been ill for a while. And every time I saw him and I said, I'm praying for him, 
I said, you know, it's provincial. I need to let people know what's happening with you. He said, no. Just ask them to pray for me. You don't need to tell them why. In his illness and suffering, there was that optimism and that joy that God is always going to accompany him. And so here we are today, celebrating his life. His life as a brother, as a son, his life as an uncle, as friend and cousin, his life as a Salesian, who for many years worked for and with young people. I believe that today, Father Paul, knowing especially his love for the young and praying for and encouraging people to respond, to be a Salesian, to respond to God's call to the service of young people, Father Paul is asking all of us to pray for vocation that like him, many will respond and say yes to God. And one last thing that I would like to end with, which is also something that uh, we as Salesians know so well. Don Bosco always said to all the Salesians, and it's something that we treasure to this day, and it's something that Paul lived in his life, and many of you can attest to that. Don Bosco said, if you want to be loved, make yourself loved. Make yourself loved. May we honor Father Paul today by making ourselves loved. It is the best gift, the best parting gift we can give to him by living a life of love, by making others love us, by making ourselves loved. And so on behalf of the Salesians of Don Bosco, to uh, uh, Paul's parents, siblings, family, to all of you friends and to the solution Don Bosco, um, we offer you our condolences and our prayers. Please be assured that Father Paul will never be forgotten. May we all live Don Bosco's quote, if we want ourselves to be loved, let us make ourselves loved. Thank you and God bless you. stand for our prayers of the faith. In all humility and knowing that God responds to all of our needs, let us present to him the needs of our world, the needs of our community, the needs of all of us. Xin Chúa dùng bí tích thân thể mà cho cha Paulo được trở nên con của Chúa. Chúng ta cùng cầu xin Chúa cho cha Paulo vào nước hàng sống muôn đời. Chúng con cầu xin Chúa. Xin Chúa nhận lời chúng con. Let us pray for Father Paul Nguyễn. In baptism, he died with pride. May he now share in the fullness of his resurrection. We pray to the Lord. Lord, we are Chúa đã dùng chính máu thịt mình để nuôi dưỡng linh hồn cha Paulo khi còn ở trần gian này. Giờ đây, 
xin cho cha Phaolô được giải thoát khỏi xiềng xích của sự chết, được ơn phục sinh và hợp đoàn cùng các chư thần thánh trên thiên đàng. Chúng con cầu xin Chúa. Xin Chúa đáp lời chúng con. We pray for those here today that the memory of Father Paul Nguyễn, whom they loved, may inspire them with a renewed love for all of our brothers and sisters. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. Chúng ta hãy cầu xin Chúa cho mọi người đang tin tưởng và sốt sáng tụ hợp nơi đây, dân thánh lễ, xin Chúa gìn giữ và trả công bội hậu cho họ. Chúng con cầu xin Chúa. Xin Chúa nhận lời chúng con. For the prayers we hold in our hearts, united in the Holy Spirit with those of Mary, the Mother of God, our patron, Saint Joseph, and all the saints in light, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. God, our shelter and our strength, you listen in love to the cry of your people. Hear our prayers we offer for Father Paul, for our departed brothers and sisters. Cleanse them of their sins and grant them the fullness of redemption. Through Christ our Lord. Amen.
pray that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God our loving Father. As we humbly present to you these sacrificial offerings, O Lord, for the salvation of your servant Paul, we beseech your mercy, that he who did not doubt your son to be a loving Savior may find in him a merciful judge who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. To the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. In Him the hope of blessed resurrection has dawned that those saddened by the certainty of dying might be consoled by the promise of immortality to come. Indeed, for your faithful Lord, life is changed, not ended. And when this earthly dwelling turns to dust, an eternal dwelling is made ready for them in heaven. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, but without end we acclaim. <laughs>
the mystery of faith. sacrifice of all reconciliation we pray O Lord advance the peace and salvation of all the world <coughs> be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant <coughs> Francis our Pope and Michael our Bishop the order of bishops all the clergy and the entire people you have gained for your own Listen graciously to the prayers of this family, whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. Remember your servant Paul, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that he who was united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection when from the earth he will raise up in the flesh of those who have died and transformed our lonely body after the pattern of his own glorious body. To our departures, brothers and sisters, and to all who were pleasing to you at their passing from this life, keep kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory when we will wipe away every tear from our eyes. For seeing you, our God, as you are, we shall be like you in all, for all the ages, and praise you without end through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, forever and ever.
as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory of the Lord, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not in our sins, but in the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will. We'll live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us turn to one another and offer one another Christ. Oh, oh, oh. 
so I couldn't see the people on it. Chad Hubbard, who will be in front. Prince Harbor, can I get seat in the front line? Right? At this time, I'd like to invite Bishop Albert from the Diocese of Prince Harbor, Canada, to come and share a few thoughts. First of all, I would like to thank, uh, to wish my sympathies and prayers to the family, to the parents, uh, to the sisters and brothers, Father Paul, who I knew for perhaps five, six years, I can't remember the exact date of our encounter, and since then he has taken me up into the wind of his movement. I didn't be part, not quite part of the uh, Vietnamese mafia yet, <laughs> but they're really pushing me in that direction. To the Father Provincial, to all the Salesian Fathers. A little secret of my life here, I always wanted to be a Salesian, a Salesian Father in Nova Scope, but there was none in our area. So I guess I said it's not on my radar. And today I am sharing in the passing of a member of Don Bosco, and I'm very touched by it, very touched by a person who, like uh, I think the provincial has explained very quickly, did not leave grass grow under his feet. And it was the motivation, like he said very clearly, living out what Don Bosco wanted all his members to live, is to love. Making ourselves lovable to others, being loved to others, and trying to bring this world to a better place to live. And thanks to Paul, we are on a journey together. Thank you. Sau đây, con xin kính mời cha Trần Công Danh và cha Phó Giám Định thuộc dòng Crazy Don Bosco bên Biển Đông, New York và Canada để có bài hướng lời. At this time, I'd like to invite Father Dominic Tran, who represents the solutions of Don Bosco in the Eastern Province of the United States and Canada, to come share a few thoughts on the functions. First, thank you, Bishop Albert. Oh, I called him earlier. Is Bishop Albert or Prince Albert? So he is Prince Albert, Bishop of Albert. <laughs> Thank you for sharing in the ministry with Father Paul and for being with him and with us these last few days, including sitting in the car yesterday for six hours and staying up until midnight just to be with us. Thank you, Bishop. I also want to thank Bishop. Um, I'm sorry, Deacon Elders, who accompanied uh, the Bishop with us these past days. Thank you to Father Dante, the pastor of this parish, St. Callistus, and the parish community for allowing us to be here today. And a word of thanks to Christina, uh, as a sacristan, who had helped to have everything ready for us. I want to thank for sure Father Tim Block, and then Father Ted, Father Mel, the provincials, and the community of this province for welcoming Paul among your province as a brother, as a conqueror, and sharing in his ministry, and in these days, your brotherly presence to him, to us, to the family. To the Salesian family here in the province of San Francisco, particularly the co cooperators and the Salesian fam members of the Salesian family in Rosemary. Father Tien, the director, of the community in Rosemead, Brother Kwa, for your kindness, looking after every details and for welcoming us these days. To Father John and Zainer and the community in Richmond, who will continue to have Father Paul in your presence and your prayer in a special way for allowing one of our conquerors of the Eastern Province to be here now in turn in your province. Con xin cảm ơn các đặc biệt đến ông bà cố, ông bà đã cùng con là cha chương dân đời của ngài cho Chúa 
tiếp tục sứ mạng mà Chúa trao cho đấng sáng lập dòng của anh em chúng con là Thánh Gioan Bosco. Con cũng xin cảm ơn anh chị em thân bằng quyến thuộc các riêng và con cháu trong, trong gia đình của cha Trương đã cùng đồng hành với Ngài uh, trong sứ mạng của Ngài phục vụ giới trẻ, phục vụ người nghèo trong những năm vừa qua. Con xin đại diện nhà dòng và các anh em trong dòng cảm ơn các anh chị em rất là nhiều người chắc chắn là con sẽ không nhớ tên và uh, những người đó nhưng mà các anh chị em đã đồng hành với cha chưa những sứ mạng của ngài trong khi ngài còn sống và trong những ngày này các anh chị em đã lo cho tất cả mọi chi tiết uh, và lo cho gia đình của cha cũng như là anh những em trong nhà dòng của cha thực sự anh chị em đã trở thành một phần của gia đình linh thiêng của cha chưa hay là như cha giám thể nói là mafia uh, vì anh chị em đã gắn bó với Ngài trong trái tim của Ngài luôn luôn thiết tha với giới trẻ và cho những anh chị em mà cha và các anh chị em đã giúp đỡ và phục vụ I want to thank all the priests and religious and all of you who are being here today to celebrate this Mass As we pray for Father Paul we also thank God for his life His witness. Lastly, even though Father, Man, uh, Father Mel had mentioned it, but I'd like to share a word to the young people present here and also to the parents of young people, a word about vocations. <coughs> Those of us who are called to the vocation of marriage, the young people here who are preparing for marriage or will be living the life of marriage or are living now, beautiful life, Hopefully, Father Paul's example will encourage you to live the gift of love, of caring for others in the vocation of the family. And as Father Mel said, help young people, your children, to know that they are loved and help them to make themselves as lovable. And then some of you may be called to the vocations of religious priests, brothers, sisters, for sure some Salesians here. I think the witness and the testimony of Father Paul's life, the number of people whose lives have been touched by this priest, hopefully encourage you, if God calls you to that vocation, to see that this beautiful vocation, this life, to be an instrument of God, to serve others so that the love of God may be experienced in the lives of others. So may his example, his life, this priest encourage you, inspire you, and encourage the parents, the grandparents in the family to support your children if God calls them to this life. And lastly, as a convert, as a brother, as a friend, maybe in the name of all of our Salesian brothers here, I'd like to thank Father Paul for his life, for being a Salesian among us. Và cuối cùng, con xin kính mời những người đại diện của gia đình Thác Quyến đến có đôi lời tri ân và cảm tạ. And lastly, I'd like to invite the representatives of Father Paul's family to share a word of gratitude and reflection. Hôm qua, chúng con đã có cử hành, các cha đã cử hành thánh lễ tiễn đưa của cha Trương, tiễn đưa từ cộng đồng, từ cộng đoàn và tất cả mọi người đã dự. Hôm nay, thánh lễ an táng, một thánh lễ cuối đời của cha. Con xin dành giây phút cho con nói vài lời cho gia đình. Thưa ba mẹ, con được dâng cuộc đời tận hiến. Con như các cha đã nói, 
Constitution Godans Bosco or Section 14. Yêu và yêu tất cả. Yêu hết lòng. Con đã làm tất cả những điều đó. Nhưng con đã lợt lạc về thăm cha mẹ, về thăm anh em. Cũng như có những tiệc cưới trong gia đình, trong dòng họ, cho các cháu, cho các em, con không thể đến được. Giờ đây, thân xác con đã quyển tròn, đã phủ kính, đã nằm trong chiếc áo, chiếc áo mới, bạn con sắm cho con, cho con xin lỗi, cho con tạ tội. Em quý mến, lúc nghe tin, hung tin của em, chị không thể tưởng tượng, không thể chấp nhận được, gào hết cũng không có. Nhưng đến khi, bây giờ chị muốn nói với em, chị may áo mới cho cả nhà để mặc áo, may cả áo mới cho mẹ để tiện em. Giờ đây, rồi đây, thân xác em sẽ cuộn vào lòng đất. Nhưng em ạ, à, tất cả những yêu thương và hình như những hình yêu thương hơn nữa và hình như các cháu, các anh em trong nhà cũng như những người trong cộng đồng thay đổi về cái lối nhìn đến với em. Điều quý hóa nhất, cảm động nhất Và chỉ nhìn thấy được những hình ảnh đó Tạo ra cho mọi người thấy Con xin chia sẻ thêm một chút nữa Là con ở bên Việt Nam Cha Thiên có gọi bảo là Chị ơi, có nhiều người muốn đội khăn tang Để kính cha Trương Chị có chấp nhận không ạ? Thì con hiểu sai ý Con nói, cha ơi con không đủ giờ để mà may khăn tang cho mọi người Cha bảo Chị, họ chị xin phép Gia đình cho họ được đổi Chiếc khăn tang Để tỏ lòng Quý mến cha Khi con nhận được điều đó Con nói, thưa cha Nếu khi họ đã chấp nhận đổi cái khăn tang đó Đeo cái khăn tang đó Chiếc khăn tang đó Để tỏ lòng Đó là người nhà của chúng con thì xin quý anh chị, quý bà con, quý mọi người trong lúc tan ra bối rối Có điều gì sơ sót, xin mọi người nhẹ tình tha thứ Và cũng đồng nghĩa đó cho con xin cảm tạ, tri ân Tất cả mọi người đến tham dự cũng như mọi người trên toàn thế giới Coi hay qua những hình ảnh cho con biết lời tri ân Dạ con xin thế I'm Tweeta, Father Paul June's youngest sister. Mm -hmm. On behalf of our family, and Father Paul Jew, I would like to sincerely thank you, Bishop Albert of Canada, who we got to know more in the recent days, Father Mel, Provincial San Francisco Province, Father Dominic, Vice Provincial Silesian of New York Province, the Don Bosco Silesian community, all the priests, brothers, sisters, and religious members, Lilvia, and all of the charitable organizations that Father Paul Jew was a part of, and all of our extended family for your incredible outpouring of support and love. This has been a difficult time for our family, but it's also been amazing to see how much Father Paul Jew was loved by so many and the impact that he's had in the US and abroad. My brothers, sisters, and family 
have volunteered along with Father Paul June in a few medical missions. It was a wonderful experience to work alongside our dear brother, Father Paul June, to see his big smile when he was helping children in need. We hope to continue this work alongside you all in the many years to come. We will forever <coughs> be proud of his amazing dedication, his tireless service, and the incredible community he brought together. We know that many of you have traveled from afar, some attending both memorial services in Southern and Northern California. We are so honored to have all of you here today. As we have all seen these last few days, Father Paul Jung was a very special person with an incredible talent for bringing people together. We know that he would have truly loved seeing all of these communities come together, even in his honor. Thank you. After the right of farewell, um, those who will go to the interment will just follow the instructions of the, uh, the crew. And a word of thanks to uh, Cindy, Mary, Christina, and John, and your colleagues in the cell for uh, taking care of for the poor these days. And then there will be a um, live refreshment over at Salesian Prep College, um, College Prep in Richmond. So we just follow the, uh, the host and the, the instruction. Thank you. Sing like a black together. Please stand for the final competition. Trusting in God, we have prayed together for Father Paul, and now we come to the last farewell. There is sadness in parting, but we take comfort in the hope that one day we shall see Paul again and enjoy his friendship. Although this community gathered here will disperse in sorrow, the mercy of God will gather us together again in the joy of his kingdom. Therefore, let us console one another in the faith of Jesus Christ.
receive his soul and present him to God the Most High. May Christ, who called you, take you to himself. May angels lead you to the bosom of Abraham. Receive his soul and present him to God the Most High. Eternal rest grant unto him, O Lord, and let perpetual light shine upon him. Receive his soul and present him to God the Most High. To you, O Lord, we commend the soul of his servant Paul. In the sight of this world, he is now dead. In your sight, may he live forever. Forgive whatever sins he committed through human weakness. And in your goodness, grant him everlasting peace. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. And so in peace, let us take our brother, Father Paul. To this place of rest. Oh, <laughs> 